Welcome to the NASCAR Hall of Fame's Spark Education. Today, we're discussing the force of friction. Friction influences the movement of objects, including race cars. It's the opposing force of movement, so as soon as a race car begins to move, friction is always present, trying to slow the car down. There are four primary types of friction, sliding, rolling, fluid, and static. Let's go through some specific examples with our NASCAR Hall of Fame race car. Static friction is the friction that exists between a stationary object and the surface on which it's resting. For example, our race car sitting here on pit road. Rolling friction occurs when the car starts moving, where the rubber meets the road. At 200 miles per hour, there is a lot of rolling friction. In NASCAR, tires can go through extreme temperature changes and wear out fast. As the tires wear, they begin to slide. Sometimes a car will slide completely out of control, creating sliding friction. To stop a car, drivers need sliding friction, and lots of it. They do this by pressing the brake pedal. This pushes the brake pads against another piece of the braking system called the rotor. The two pieces slide against each other and convert kinetic energy into heat. Sometimes, at tracks like Martinsville or Bristol, the brake rotors can get hot enough to glow bright orange or even red. You might be thinking only solids can produce friction, but fluid friction is also at work while a race car is in motion. Don't let the name confuse you, though fluid friction can occur with both liquids and gases. Air is considered a fluid friction because it has no fixed shape and can be easily deformed. As cars move forward, air going around them creates fluid friction. In racing, this is commonly referred to as air resistance. Next time you ride your bike or ride in a car, think of the four primary types of friction at work trying to slow you down.